history, I just made this out of scrap wood. Okay everybody, welcome to episode 3 I think it is of the film project. Also, sorry for the shit quality, um, it's because I'm using my phone and obviously that's not the best camera, but um, the batteries in my other camera died out. Anyway, this episode is dedicated pretty much to building um, this one big prop that we're going to be using in the film and um, pretty much just showing you the process of how we made it so uh, enjoy make sure you leave a like and uh, make sure to comment so what is this Aaron give us a little well, tour of what you've done this is a cupboard door a right? cupboard door these are old banister posts that we not took out this is just padded wood here and this is just a bit of plywood so put, put, put the barrel in yeah, PVC barrel. PVC pipe for a barrel. It's so basically it's acting as what is this going to be? An anti tank gun. An anti tank gun. You've got two barrels, but longer one or short one, depending on what you want. Literally just sizing there, like so. It's not finished yet. And as you can see, this is the kind of prop. This is good work, Aaron. That would be for um, wood there, so that would be a box chamber there. You just heard a little bit in here, a little flap, and I've got a little hinge for closing breach that will go on there. That is awesome. We'll update you as well, more updates are added. So, a little update on the field gun, cannon, anti tank gun thing. This is where we got to. We're going to go see if we can find some wheels for it. And we're going to take these two doors. Make some side panels on the side, have them coming in at an angle either side to help deflect any incoming rounds. It's coming together and we'll eventually paint it up. Almost there. Almost there. And we've got to put like some kind of muzzle brake on the end. On the end if we find something suitable. So yeah, we'll keep you updated. Looks like an elephant. Another update. Well, Aaron's. Uh, what's this called? Just firing lever. Yeah, we've done the firing lever. Also, yeah, yesterday we added on the uh, the door, um, and we bought some paint as well. So good old bit of spray paint. Yeah, it'll look pretty good for the film, I think. Yeah, especially if we have it dug in somewhere, have it firing. I haven't written it into anything, but um, it will be pretty cool. Anyway, we got to go get some wheels, so let's do that. Oh, here comes Cat. Right, update. Um, we put some wheels onto it. I mean, it's not finished yet. It definitely needs to uh, <clears throat> paint. Well. We're gonna paint some bits on it, and then we've got to actually fasten the wheels to the uh, pole there. That's coming along nicely. I ain't got Obviously. much paint there. Yeah. Took up three cans of spray paint. Obviously, every, not everything's covered, but the main, the majority bit of it is. It's gonna be a good little prop for the film. I like this. This just looks awesome. Like right, just. Goes like that. That needs to be done a bit on the inside still. Yeah. Once more time, some more fire. Yeah, it is cool. So this is pretty much the finished product, apart from it being painted. What we've done, we've added a latch onto here, so this doesn't hang open like it did before. Added uh, these. The rear stands on the back, uh, which are they're not just secured with tape; they're properly done in there. Blue. Uh, we did the muzzle brake at the end, which looks pretty cool. We'll safety guard at the bottom. And this uh, guard at the bottom as well. So that's pretty cool. We might paint camouflage on it. We might not. I mean, depends. Uh, but that'll be a cool prop 
in the film at some point. No, it won't be in episode one, though, I don't think. But yeah, that's cool. So, uh, exactly. The DIY cannon. Ready to go. Almost.